Hi everybody, in this video I'll show you how you can have NVIDIA broadcast, uh, basically noise suppression available, uh, the one that developed by NVIDIA uh, in OBS Studio. This is by the way also for the video effects, but I'm here I'm just going to talk about the noise suppression, noise reduction uh, feature. Now if you google this term NVIDIA Auto Effects OBS, you should be able uh, to get to this address, probably should be different, depends on maybe on the location we're actually searching, uh, but again this is, should be in one line. And in this page, you're going to see audio effects, video effects. Basically, in the audio effects section at the bottom, as you can see, scroll down, you can see for the graphics card. You can see that there is for 50 series, 40 series, and 30 series, and 20 series. So download the one that is relevant to your graphics card. You can see at the bottom, it says using OBS Studio, Streamlabs, and others. You can also see that uh, I have also got a wave leak, so I can actually use it in there as well. Then run the file and install it on your computer. This will install NVIDIA Auto Effects SDK on your computer. Of course, the, diff, uh, the version might be different for you, depends on when you decide to install it. Uh, after that, launch OBS Studio or restart OBS Studio after you've done that. Uh, in the sources section, we need to create an input uh, for the microphone, audio input, the audio input capture, uh, rename it whatever you like. The device, you can choose the default one or choose the one that is relevant for you from the list. After you've done that, click OK. Then go to sources, right click your audio input capture that you just uh, inserted, click filters, then go to the plus sign and choose NVIDIA audio effects. There might be some other things, but we want NVIDIA audio effects. Once you've done that, you see that the option will be added into the audio filter list. You can rename it whatever you like, you just keep the default here, you choose the method. Uh, if you want noise removal or, no, or just echo removal, you can choose also the third option, which is NVIDIA noise removal plus room echo removal. And in the suppression intensity, you can choose the intensity of the suppression and also use voice optimize if you want to let NVIDIA optimize your voice as well. Now it happens in real time, all right? So basically the moment you change it here, you don't need to click apply, it will actually affect the results. So let's check it out. What I'm gonna do now, uh, this is without, so you can see, I'm just going to type, type and speak at the same time. Red switches keyboard, mechanical keyboard, typing and uh, speaking at the same time. I'm going to shut up and just going to type. All right, now let's increase it. And I'm going to increase it now. We're in 0 0.2, clicking and uh, speaking. Just now clicking. All right, let's increase it to 0 0.5, speaking and clicking. And now just clicking. All right, let's 0 0.8, speaking and clicking. Now just clicking. And to the max, speaking and clicking and just clicking. All right, so that's the test. And basically that's a very effective way to reduce noise, uh, especially if you are having lots of noise around you or you're typing with a mechanical keyboard while streaming. Thanks for watching, give a like if you find this one useful. Good luck, see you on the next guide, cheers.